to the eighth wonder of the world. The flow of the century. Oh, it's timeless. Ho! Thanks for coming out tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. You know, after. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. <laughs> Nobody got a chance to donate nothing. Let's see. It's not damaged. Now this place didn't get looted. What? An ATM? How do I get into the fucking? Look at the gate. The pills are in there. Right. That's. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? That's my. Um. Oh, let me give Clementine this energy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I always take care of Clementine. Um, I honestly don't know where to go. Newspaper? Radio? Carly? Doug? Examine photographs? Greeting cards? We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's a ducky. Where do I go to get into this place? I'm so confused. Oh. I don't want to talk about it. Why did nobody try this? Alive inside and then you're not. Oh, is this the shit bucket? There's the alley. First aid kit. I can't step on this futon. Bedding. First aid kit. Y'all got nitroglycerin pills. That sucks. Move the pallet, yes. I think I just found a weapon. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He zip around here on it from time to time. Wait, what? Was he sick? No, nah, he was okay. Oh, well, this is where my family was at. Fuck this. He protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad just smart like that. I, I'm so dumb. I just realized what's going on. So, desk? Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? No. Sure. Oh. No, you can't. It's dangerous. Everything's made of danger. Okay, that's okay. nice. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. No. You don't <laughs> have a family? Uh do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. Damn. I'm not crazy about it either. Alright, a little further. What? Why don't you want to talk about your family? If we're just trying to hate you? I wouldn't blame you. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things were yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. 
That sucks. My that honestly does suck. Talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. <laughs> You're saying parents do be like that sometimes. First aid kit. First aid kit. First aid kit. I'll find you a bandage. First aid kit. It's first aid kit. Got you this band aid for your finger. Uh, so you can stop bleeding and shit. Here you go. Let's have a look at that finger. That's. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something. About How did you hurt yourself standing there like that? <laughs> Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. What did you do to hurt yourself? You weren't even helping me with the desk at that whatever. Door to pharmacy. It's locked. Of course it is. The They're in the drawer right behind me. Lee? Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Here's a bunch we of false hope. Look out. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Keys? Fuck. Uh... Uh, keys, keys, keys. Wait. What did I just click on on the ground? Whatever. Photo. Examine bedding. <gasps> oh, I bet the keys were in the bedding. Right? My parents came in here hoping to survive. It looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Protect her, at least. Uh. Where are the keys gonna be at? Let's look at the TV just in case. Get the remote for that thing in here someplace. I don't I don't want the remote. The remote's in the drawer, we know that already. Oh. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Hot damn. We don't want to watch TV though. <sighs> Clementine! It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go through the door. Okay. Alright. I didn't want to, like, leave her in there. Okay, guy who needs heart pills. Right now, I'm looking for keys. Energy bar. Hey, Clementine. I got you this bar. Oh, you don't need it. Meaty, saucy, energy barries. Uh. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? on the talkie or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? I said talk so to Carly. So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. Shit. And a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. What a chill dude. Hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. Sounds That's good. What you want to do? Somebody Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. A jog. I am. I'm unsure. Let's see. 
Okay. Hey there. How's Hi. your finger? Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Ah, Still. I've got an energy bar, yeah, bitch. It wasn't much. I uh, know, Clay. I'll see if I can find something else for you. We'll sit tight. Okay. Here's another energy bar. Bitch. I have to find her something else, like as a whole. Another energy bar. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Here, Doc. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's all melted now. <laughs> it's all melted now. Newspaper clippings, photographs, greeting cards. I'm trying to find her more food. Cork board. All right, Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? Yeah. You got it. You? Hell yeah. Let's go. I'm going to be that guy and leave it on a cliffhanger. Oh, let's see what we got though. Let's see what we got. How did she not see that? But he's like, guys. <laughs> right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. <laughs> that's good. Let's right, leave. You, you guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. <laughs> that phase. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Okay. What is this point of view right now? Is it just letting me know all the dangers? Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay. I'm gonna be that guy, and I'm gonna leave it on a cliffhanger. So... This concludes the first episode of Walking Dead. Uh, how I feel about it so far. I like it. And if you like it, then I'll be playing a second one in the future. But, you know, as for now, that's that. Thanks for watching.